Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy trick that you can use on the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass to enable standard input controls. If you apply this hack, then it will make this game play like all the other Zelda games. So the regular game requires that you use stylus inputs, and using those stylus inputs is tedious and can also cause hand cramps. Um, so I just want to share with everyone a quick way that you can apply a patch to this title and then play it like any other Zelda game where the buttons work and the D-pad works and the analog sticks work. Or you can use the stylus controls as always if you prefer, but it, this will enable dual input options. Now in order to be able to use this hack, you are going to need a Nintendo DS that has the ability to run a flash cart or ROMs, uh, or you will need a Nintendo 3DS that has the ability to run Nintendo DS ROMs. So without further ado, let's get to the guide. Quick disclaimer here, you will need a copy of the game, The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass ROM. It is not provided in this download, so keep that in mind. So first thing we're going to do here is navigate to this link that you see in the video description and click the button that says to download the patch. If you prefer, you can add navigate over to the source code location on GitHub, and you can actually compile this patch yourself if you're more comfortable with doing that. If you don't want to do it, then you can just download it from the first link I provided, but here's the source code if you'd like it. So the next thing that we want to go ahead and do is navigate to the directory where you downloaded the patch, and then you're going to want to unzip that zip file. So here we're going to go to 7-zip and extract files, or you could just do extract all or WinZip or whatever you do, but unzip that archive and then go into the archive. Now you're not going to, I have the ROM in there because I've already patched it, so you're not going to have that. So be sure you copy your ROM into this directory. In my case, uh, the files, you can see it's highlighted there, but again, you won't have it. You need to provide it. So now navigate to the command prompt by going to start run CMD. And then in the command prompt, you want to navigate to this directory that you downloaded the patch to. And then from here, you just want to issue this X Delta command. In the command line, the three arguments you're going to provide are going to be the name of the ROM, the name of the Delta that applies to you, and the name of the patched output file. Or you could just copy the arguments exactly the way you see them here. And once this command has been executed, you'll have a new file in this directory which is going to be your patched ROM. Once this process is complete, all you need to do is copy the patched ROM to your flash cart and you are ready to play. So I hope this was helpful to you. We'll talk to you guys later.